let's dig right into what you're doing at Domino Data Labs, where you're co-founder and CEO. So the Domino Data Lab promotes a unified and open platform for AI. It emphasizes end-to-end -end models and data science lifecycle management, as well as ML ops automation. That's a lot of different things going on. <laughs> so maybe you could summarize for us, I'm sure as the CEO, this is your bread and butter to tell us what the pain points are for your users and how the Domino Data Lab platform addresses them. Yeah. Um, so, so I started building Domino uh, about 10 years ago. And over the last decade, we've built what I, what I believe is the, the most comprehensive and, and, and kind of the best platform that gives large organizations, particularly enterprises, everything they need to do mission critical AI at scale. And I think of that as really having three, um, th three elements or three, three facets of, of what, what, what a large organizations need to, to do data science, ML, AI at scale. The first is um, we make it really easy for data scientists to orchestrate, get access to, um, uh, uh, kind of we weave together all the different infrastructure that you need when you're doing AI work, right? So you need a lot more compute, you need access to data, you need agility to use all the new latest and greatest software tools, packages. Uh, it's, you know, the, the, the state of the ecosystem is changing so fast that kind of every week there's a new thing you, you might want to use. And in enterprises, making it easy to get access to all that all that all those infrastructure components, all those resources can can be very frictionful because you know IT is putting up bottlenecks and and gates and things like that. And, and at the same time, you know, if you're a data scientist, you're not a DevOps expert, you're not an infrastructure engineering expert. So you may not want to be setting up your Spark cluster and debugging, you know, parallel jobs and things like that. So so the first thing we do, we provide self-serve access to all the infrastructure you need to be really productive and experiment rapidly and, and kind of stay on the cutting edge. Um, and, and by the way, we do that in a way that also meets the needs of, of security conscious IT organizations. So, so imagine providing infrastructure access with um, security controls in place and templates. So because again, in, in an enterprise context, you don't want to just give all the data scientists free reign to build a wild west or whatever they want. So that's kind of the infrastructure layer of our stack, and um, we're, as far as I know, the only uh, the only advanced data science platform that that has native capabilities for multi and hybrid cloud orchestration. So, so you know, as a data scientist, whether you're running um, an interactive development experience like Jupiter, or whether you're running a batch training job or a, a real time inference, you're deploying a model for real time inference. We can we can push that to any cloud or on premise. Okay, so on top of that, kind of next next layer of the stack, once you got all the infrastructure stuff you need, we we've built a like you said uh, an an integrated experience that facilitates the model development lifecycle. I think about this as like um, like what the Microsoft Office suite is for workspace productivity, or what the um, what the Cre Adobe Creative Suite suite is for for designers. You know, it's it's all the tools you need to go through your your workflow, your 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 productivity apps. So, um, interactive development, experiment management, uh, model deployment, model monitoring, and then critically making that a, a tight closed loop. So, you know, if you, if you go to deploy a model, we'll automatically set up the monitoring rules for you. If if you if we detect that drift has occurred, we will automatically create a development environment for you with all the all the all your raw materials, your your code, your data, your software package definitions, precisely as they were when you first deployed your model. Because we really believe that data science is a it's not a straight line; it's a it's a loop. And the the most effective organizations are the ones that speed up this iterative development life cycle. So it's it's not just deploy a model; it's deploy it, monitor it, and then continuously improve. So how do, so we think a lot about how do we streamline the process the 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 workflow for data scientists as they go through that whole iterative, continuously improving model development lifecycle. So that's layer two. And then layer three, which I think is, um, it, it's, it's one that I think is most exciting and, and, and probably most valuable in it. And it's one that um, un unfortunately doesn't get a lot of attention because it's, it's not really sexy. It is creating the, the system of record 
for data science work and artifacts. So the, the models that you deploy, the history of experiments that you've done, the projects you've tried, um, keeping that all in one place so there's a single source of truth and so that organizations can find and build on past work instead of reinventing the wheel and that organizations can have um, standards and consistent ways of working. And, and you know, let me, let me just unpack that for a little bit. Um, I, I was talking to a, um, uh, an SVP of data science at, at a big media company a couple weeks ago, and, and um, he said, you know, his is the only team in the whole company that can onboard one of a new team member in, in 24 hours. And that has been critical to them accelerating their productivity, increasing their productivity. He said they, um, they're, they're doing, um, over the last couple of years, they've seen a six, six X improvement in the throughput or the productivity of, of his data science organization. And he attributed that largely to the, um, the ability to to reuse past work and and stop reinventing the wheel all the time. So you know, a new person joins the team, they're ready to go with. Hey, here's how we do a project. Here's the life cycle. Here's how you access your data. You 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 know, we we give you access to the platform. Everything you need is at your fingertips, ready to go. You don't have to go hunt around and ask people and find wikis and and you know, have people send you connection strings or whatever. So. I know it's a really long answer, but I, I thought um, I that'd be good to set the stage a little bit. You know, so so the way we see the world is what enterprises need to scale mission critical AI, self serve access to governed flexible infrastructure, great productivity suite to streamline the life cycle of going working through the model development life cycle for data scientists, and then the system of record that helps organizations build on past work instead of continuously reinventing the wheel.